The member for Hughes. My question is the Minister for Immigration and Border Protection. Will the Minister update the House on the action the government has taken to maximise job opportunities for young Australians? And how is the government ensuring that our immigration program puts hard-working Australian workers first? The Minister for Immigration and Border Protection. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr Speaker. I thank uh, the honourable member for his question. Uh, since the coalition has been elected, uh, we've created 500,000 jobs. And we are proud of the fact, Mr Speaker, that we are presiding over an economy where we put Australian workers first. We have looked at the experience of Labor when they were in government, and we know that uh, many people around the country, when they talk about this Leader of the Opposition, they say that he can't be trusted. There's something about this Leader of the Opposition that is not right. He's just not right. He's not genuine. And I'll tell you why. I'll give you one example, Mr Speaker. Because when the Leader of the Opposition was the Employment Minister back in the golden years of the Rudd-Gillard-Rudd period, he presided over the 457 program, which brought foreign workers into our country to displace some Australian workers. And in that program that was championed by the Labor Party, the number of people under the 457 program grew from 68,000 visa holders, primary visa holders, at the end of June 2010 to more than 110,000 people when Labor left office in 2013. Now, Mr Speaker, we have cleaned up Labor's mess and we have seen a reduction in the number of foreign workers coming into this country because we have put, we have put Australian workers first. And that is, uh, that is the reality under this government, Mr Speaker. Now, there are many other examples in the chequered history of the Leader of the Opposition which you could point to which shows that, yes, he is not a genuine person. You can point to many examples in his professional life where he has taken decisions to provide some sort of benefit to the union bosses at the expense of workers. Now, he also did it uh, when he was uh, in the position in the, as the Employment Minister uh, in the uh, Rudd-Gillard-Rudd years. He took uh, decisions which were to the detriment of workers. There is, no, there is no question about that, Mr Speaker. And he has, along with those behind him, presided over agreements which imagine when you go into the food court at any Westfield shopping centre or you go into a shopping centre where you've got a McDonald's. The McDonald's was preferred as an employer under agreement struck by the Labor Party when they were in government and when they were union leaders over the workers and the businesses alongside that uh, McDonald's in the food court. So the Labor Party had a family-run burger shop which was paying workers more than what the EBA was negotiated uh, by the union movement and sanctioned by this Leader of the Opposition. That is the shonky behaviour, Mr Speaker, that has filled the CV of this Leader of the Opposition from the time that he entered the union movement. And no wonder, Mr Speaker, when you go around the country, people question the integrity of this Leader of the Opposition. Look not at what he says, but look, Mr Speaker, at what he does.